Right now, as Senate lawmakers get ready to formally draft the text of their authorization for a military strike on Syria, Russian President Vladimir Putin today saying the U.S. Congress has no right to approve the use of force against the Assad regime without a decision from the U.N. Security Council, and that doing so would be a, quote, act of aggression. Of course, Russia and China have long opposed any such measure in that body. Here's Wyoming Senator John Barrasso. Has the administration created, conducted perhaps a, a threat assessment of how Russia, how Iran, how Hezbollah is going to respond to a U.S.-led attack? And uh, what, what, what response do we expect from Syria's allies, including you know, Russia, Iran, and Hezbollah, to, our, to military action? Uh, we all agree that that would be best handled in a classified session. So we don't get the answer from Secretary of State Kerry, at least not on television, but the man who asked the question is with us, Republican Senator John Barrasso from Wyoming, a member of the Foreign Relations Committee. He attended that classified bri uh, briefing this morning with President Obama's national security team. Uh, difficult to ask the question since we know it was a classified briefing, but are you satisfied at least with the answer that you got? Well, we've been having a, a lengthy discussion ask, asking questions like that and, and other questions. I still have the underlying fundamental question of why is this in the national security interest of the United States? What is the overall goal? What is the plan? Uh, and where are we a month from now? What does success look like? And to me, those questions have still not fundamentally been fully answered. What about, and another question, and I think you asked this in the hearing as well, what happens if we strike uh, Syria, Bashar al-Assad decides in a week or a month he's going to trot out uh, weapons of mass destruction, chemical weapons, again? Well, you're absolutely right, because uh, people that have proposed solutions, they're all theoretical. They don't know exactly how he is going to respond uh, under uh, this sort of uh, duress. Uh, will he just come back and use additional uh, weapons? We know there are extensive chemical weapons uh, around Syria. And what happens if there is a strike by the United States? Uh, will they impact and specifically hit those weapons? We know that the elements of, of surprise has been lost by the administration's efforts. And uh, we're now in a situation where we know that Assad is moving his assets in terms of his personnel as well as uh, heavy artillery uh, into neighborhoods where many civilians are living. During the Iran-Iraq war, those two countries were using chemical weapons against each other regularly and the United States didn't do anything. Why now? Well, that's the question that many of us continue to ask. That's the question that I'm hearing uh, from my constituents at home in Wyoming who are very concerned, who want to know why this is uh, in, the in the national security interest, and specifically, what does success look like? The president has given mixed messages. You know, he said, well, it's a, a shot across the bow. Well, a, sh a shot across the bow is intended to hit nothing. Uh, then he said it's to in intended to uh, be limited, uh, be a, uh, a message. Uh, be, be a way to, in, in a very small way, just punish uh, Assad for the use of, of nuclear weapons. So what is, what is exactly the goal uh, and why are we uh, fully focusing? This is a big decision for every member of Congress uh, to vote on, uh, but uh, to me it is an act of aggression uh, and uh, the vote is going to be taken seriously by every member. Well, the, one of the members uh, of your caucus, Senator John McCain, had been supporting the president up to now on the idea of using force against Syria to answer to this uh, chemical weapons attack. Now he is saying he cannot support the resolution as it stands right now. What, uh, what does that say to you and other members of uh, the Republican caucus in the Senate? Well, I think people want to actually read the resolution. There was an initial resolution that came forth from the White House, but there was a new resolution by the Foreign Relations Committee chairman that came out at 9.30 last night. And many of us had a chance to read it later last night. Um, I discussed it with Senator McCain uh, this morning, and there are additional concerns. So that may be amended in committee, voted on, and if passed in the committee, then on to the full Senate, will there be additional discussion and amendments? And if the, if the Congress does not approve the use of force, uh, should the president go ahead and take action anyway? Well, that's the big question I asked, Senator, uh, I asked Secretary Kerry yesterday. You know that uh, the prime minister of, uh, uh, in, uh, in England has said, no, he's not going to join in the effort uh, because uh, the parliament voted no. And my question to Secretary Kerry is, if Congress votes no, 
is the, is the president still going to act uh, without that permission? He said, well, I don't intend to lose the vote. But otherwise, why did the president ask uh, for uh, congressional resolution and approval uh, if he didn't want to abide by it? Is this, are we all here to vote just for theatrical reasons for the president? Or is he serious about asking for Congress to approve of what he wants to do? A lot of questions yet to be answered, even for one of the senators who's been in on the classified briefing, Senator John Barrasso, Republican of Wyoming. Thank you. Th thanks for having me.